Welcome back to my channel, beautiful people. So I'm just starting out here, continuing from the contouring foundation video, and I'm using Revlon Color Stay Twist Up Liner, and I'm putting on some eyebrows here. Now, generally, what I have noticed is dolls have straight kind of eyebrows, so that's what I'm doing here, is doing some straight eyebrows. Now, I've had a lot of practice doing eyebrows, so I don't really like use any reference lines or anything like that. I just, I just draw them on. And then I just look at them and then make them even. And that's how I do that thing that I do with my eyebrows. And then I'm coming in with a mini foundation brush. And I believe this is like an organic brand from like Walmart. And then I'm just coming in with some foundation and I'm making some super, super crisp brows because I want them to look super plastic since that is the purpose of looking like a sweet Lolita doll. I have a really steady hand when it comes to doing makeup, so that's basically why I get this stuff right the first time. It's definitely not not a skill everybody has for sure, but it it can be developed with practice. And I just blend out that with the mini foundation brush as well. This also allows room to clean up my brows if the shape is not how I would like it. But I just use my fingers to smudge the edges out since it's faster than using the mini foundation brush since you can get some streaks with that and now I'm coming in with a translucent powder in a very very white shade and now I'm going over my eyebrows now this is the reason why in the contouring with foundation makeup tutorial I didn't put powder on because I like to put powder on over top of my brows to seal them and lock them into place. Now I'm just feeling myself up. You know, I've got to have that energy to uh, curl my lashes. So I'm using a Sue Arumon. I probably pronounced that wrong. Eyelash curler. This is like the best eyelash curler I've ever used in my life. My brother got it for me for my birthday, so I'm super pumped. And I'm just coming in with lip balm because it works so much better <laughs> than any other eyeshadow concealer I've used. Or eyeshadow primer, sorry. Eyeshadow primer. And I'm just coming in with like a white liner to open up the insides of my eyeballs. But not really. It kind of creates the illusion. Sort of. <coughs> I find it can look goofy in some mannerisms as well too. Now I'm coming in with some cheap as fuck eyeshadow because I'm trying to use up this palette. And I'm just using like this frosty kind of white shade and putting it all over my, my eye. And I'm just like cleaning up because it fell on the underside of my eye. And now I'm taking like a thinner brush and I'm just Taking, coming in with like a gray shade and I'm just going on the underside below my waterline blending it out and blending it around my crease now I'm coming in with like a purpley color get some of that sweet sweet shade is that color going on so we can be cute and beautiful like all the dolls in the world and now I'm just using a pencil liner of choice. I don't really know what pencil liner this is. I have so many of them. And I'm just kind of going out on the outside edge of my eye and lining around the waterline to exaggerate the natural uh, eye shape that I have to make it look more like it's bigger. It just works to me, okay? <laughs> 
And now I'm coming in with our waterproof liquid liner. I believe this one's like Maybelline. And I'm just making that line more sharp. And then I'm kind of like, with a not as wet end, I'm like brushing it outwards, kind of blending it down into that lower shadow. And now I'm just sticking on some mascara. This is like another drugstore mascara that I picked up to uh, <laughs> replace that other one that I did a review on. If you guys would like a review on this one, I can do a review on this one. I don't exactly remember what the brand is, but I'll stick all the products in my description for those of you who really, really want to know what I'm using. And then I'm just like coming in with the translucent powder again, cleaning up any makeup that fell on my face. Yay. And now I'm coming in with like a highlighter stick. I'm highlighting my cupid's bowl. And highlighting the tip of my nose and the center of my nose for some definition. I and I'm coming in with like a tan not so uh, a cool tan color basically fixing my contour and now this is where the splotchiness will disappear and then I'm coming in with like a kind of salmony blusher shade just to kind of balance the slightly bronze tones that aren't so cool inside of my contour you know, it looks a lot better. <laughs> and I'm just putting a little bit of peach lipstick in the center of my lips. And then I'm putting some lip gloss over top of that. Basically what that does is add a bit of like depth to my lip color, opposed to just having like an overall peach shade. Just to kind of like, I don't know, match the peachish kind of tones going on in my blusher. That's basically it. It's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribed if you haven't subscribed already and join my awesome crew of killer ass cookies. Give me a thumbs up and do share this video because it really helps me out. And then if you would like to extra help me out, I have a Patreon as well too, if you weren't aware of that already. <laughs>